with Heinrich, who owns the uh, Elvis jukebox collection. So can you just take us through the story behind these classic singles? These classic singles came from Elvis's personal jukebox collection. He used to play them at Graceland. And you know what? Sometimes we think, did he dance with Priscilla to some of these songs? Did he fight with his friends? or? You know, what, what happened? Oh, yeah, we just yeah. know that he got a lot of inspiration listening to other artists. And there's some 45s here that really, you know, speak volumes like Ray Charles, I Got a Woman, we got the CC Rider. I always used to open these shows in the 70s with CC Rider. Did he get the inspiration for those songs from this collection? Which is I think so. They're here, HMV in London. <laughs> <laughs> now we're here with David from V-Tone Records, uh, who have actually released a lot of these singles um, onto a CD compilation which is just out now. So David, could you just introduce us to the CDs? Yeah, of course I can. Um, this is the volume one of the Memphis Jukebox collection. Um, and we have the volume two which is just out, a, well I think in store today. Um, we've, we've been working with Henrik in, in terms of producing an accurate reflection of the music that Elvis Presley listened to. Never before has there been any accurately documented CDs that contain the actual music that he owned and listened to. So this really is a first. Um, volume 1 sold very well, Volume 2 is also selling very well and it's really nice to be here today with Henrik and working together on this. And it's fantastic to see all these original 45s together for the first time. Um, I might also want to mention that Vito and Records are giving away in Record Collector magazine which is published in December one of Elvis's original 45s from the collection, Jerry Lee Lewis' son 288 Breathless Sun 45. Um, it will be in the, the competition page of Record Collector in the next issue. So it is a real gem of a prize for somebody who is a music collector.